Psychology is a study of how the brain works and you learn about different things such as how you learn and how to improve your memory and um, mental illness and just a lot of things along the lines of that. You should bring a positive attitude and when you're learning you should learn to take risks like instead of just writing notes and repeating yourself every day every time you try and study you should try to take different approaches like make videos, you can draw pictures podcasts and all different sorts of things and they proved to be really useful when we were revising so I recommend it. You should also have um, an interest in human behaviour because that's what the topic is all about and if you have a strong interest about it you can really excel in the subject so always try to, to learn as much as you can and try to like as much as you can because you'll go far. Uh, don't bring a lazy attitude because that, that won't get you anywhere. Um, use all your resources that you can. So, Chavez has this K drive thing going on where you've got like videos and audio blogs and stuff like that that can really be useful. So, you can get like university lectures from America and just audio tapes you can put on your iPod and listen to them when you're walking around or something like that. And once you do all that stuff, you raise a lot of questions so you can talk about them to Chavez if you don't get anything. So, that's really helpful. And when you're doing, when you're in psychology, make sure to not always be serious and have a sense of humour about the class now and then and have fun when you approach learning because you learn it a lot easier. Yeah. And just make sure you try different ways of studying, like don't always read from the book, try like drawing. Take risks. Yeah, take risks. <laughs> you got to um, like draw for example or watch videos or listen to blogs or make videos. Me and Jay made a, a, a fair bit of videos and we used them a lot for revision and they really helped. So. Um, yeah, give that a shot. Hello, Haley and Matt. I'm Zane and this is Jay. And we're going to help you to condition your three-year-old son, Jack, to stop using his dummy. In order to condition Jack, we're going to teach you three techniques that you could use. These are known as reinforcement, punishment and shaping. We're going to show you a real-life scenario of what you're probably already experiencing. Give me the dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> Give me the dummy. <laughs> Please, can I just have the dummy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give me the dummy. Okay, that might not be exactly what you're experiencing, but you understand the point. In this scenario, it is ideal to use positive reinforcement. This is when you use a positive stimulus to encourage a desired behaviour, which in your case is Jack not wanting the dummy. Jack! <laughs> Give me the dummy. No. Give me the dummy, Jack. No. Please. Okay. Give me the Jack. Good boy, Jack. Here's some chocolate. Chocolate? Good boy. Chocolate. This is an example of positive reinforcement. The behavior being Jack giving the dummy to you and the stimulus being the chocolate. Keep in mind that the stimulus does not have to be food, it just has to be something that Jack enjoys. Reinforcement should be done after every step. This is called shaping. Jack, give me the dummy. Chocolate. Jack, give me the dummy. Mm. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy, Jack. Don't yeah. need the dummy anymore. Yeah. <laughs> the next technique we're going to try is punishment. Punishment is when a stimulus is given or taken away from someone in order to decrease the undesired behavior. <laughs> Jack! Jack! Give me the dummy! Give me the dummy, Jack! Jack, give me the dummy! Jack, give me the dummy! That's it! I told you! I told you! Stop it! You could try that, or you could use negative punishment. This is when a positive stimulus is taken away in order to increase the undesired behavior. Jack, 
give me the dummy. Mm. Jack, mm. give me the dummy. Mm. Jack, mm. give me the dummy. Mm. Mm. Alright, that's it. You no, can't do this for a week. Those are the three methods of conditioning your son, Jack. I hope they have come to great use for you.